Hello, in today's video we will be looking at Luke Skywalker Imperial Light Cruiser from the Vintage Collection. Okay, so here's the figure on the card back and yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. Um, yeah, that face sculpt is, I don't know, it's weird. It looks a bit weird on the camera, but like I can't explain it. Like in person it looks a lot better. So I'm hoping I can pick up that a bit better uh, later on in the video because, yeah, when I'm looking at it on the camera, it, it looks a bit weird, but in person it looks awesome. But we'll get a close-up of that after. Yeah, here's the card. That's a cool image there. Um, yeah, I think it's the image from the show where he first comes through the doors, but that face is standing out to me a bit. That doesn't look that natural when you sort of look at it and you've got... You know, you draw attention to it, it looks a bit weird. Because obviously in the show, there's no, um, you can't see his face until he lifts his hood up and then, you know, it's revealed. Um, so, yeah, like that, it looks a little bit weird. I, I think I might have preferred it if it had just been the shot of him stood there with the hood over, because we all know what he looks like. Um, so, yeah, and then you got the name pill there. And then on the back, the rest of the line, VC264. So, yeah, I'm going to... Open this up and take a closer look. So straight off the card, this is what he looks like. You've got the cape hanging out the back there through the plastic. And you've got his pistol, lightsaber, lightsaber hilt there. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Okay, so here's his lightsaber. And it looks pretty decent. And there's a bit of sort of paint scratched off there, which is only a tiny bit. So it's not the end of the world and it'll be in his hand anyway. Um, but yeah, the actual saber part, I guess, looks cool. And then you've got the hilt here, which ooh, straight away there's a bit of something on there. Maybe a bit of fluff or something on there. Yeah, there we go. So, looks pretty cool. And then this pistol, which is strange. Um, there's a gold handle on it, which looks quite nice, and a bit of silver. I do like the detail on that. Um, from what I remember, this is the one he has in Return of the Jedi, which I think he uses, I want to say he uses it on the barge, like the whole uh, scene with Jabba and everything else. Um, I don't remember him using it in the rest of the film. I might be wrong. Um, so yeah, it's a bit strange that he's got it on him here when this is set like five years after that. I don't know if he just kept the pistol and he's carrying it around with him um, these days or whether they've just put that in as another accessory. Either way. Pretty decent. And then here we have the figure himself. Yeah, there's that face. I don't know if it's going to focus. It does look a bit better in person. I don't know why it looks so... Maybe it's because it's all... I don't know, the light is straight on the face. It does look a bit better in person. He sort of looks like a child on the camera. But in person, it. I don't know if it looks like Mark Hamill, but it's pretty decent. It looks all right to me. Um, yeah, so then we've got the chest here. It looks like that's designed for the pistol to go in. Which I think would probably make sense. Maybe, I don't know. Um, does he have a holster? No. Which I don't think Luke Skywalker does have a holster. So he's going to have to hold the pistol. Or I'll just put it by his feet or something. Yeah, you've got those rocker ankles, which is nice. Again, got this articulation here where, you know, the trousers kind of cover it a bit, which is nice. Uh, I did that in the, I mentioned that in the uh, Cal Kestis one that I did. I do, I do prefer it when it's like that. Yeah, it's the same on here. Sort of comes down and covers that, which is nice. Yeah, swivel there. Um, yeah, soft goods there. Soft goods cape and cloak, I guess. Um, yeah, and then that's the head there. I'm not going to take it off because you can see everything that you kind of need to see there. So I'll probably just leave it on him. But obviously if you pop his head off or maybe you could probably even lift it off over his head. But I don't know. I know these things, uh, they tend to fray a little bit if you mess around with them too much. So I'm just going to leave it on him for now. I think he looks cool. Put your menace in. Pretty formidable, I should say. Maybe not menacing. I don't think that's the word. Yeah, he looks... Okay, he looks a bit weird like that. But 
I'll set him up properly in a sec, but yeah, so far he's looking awesome. Um, I think I've only got two other Luke Skywalker figures. Well, I've got quite a few actually, but in this sort of outfit, in the black sort of Jedi robes type thing, I think I've only got two others like it. So I'll do a comparison with that at the end as well. So yeah, I'll set him up and talk a bit more about him. Okay, so some final thoughts on this figure. I was really excited for this guy and he has paid off. I think he looks awesome. Um, I'm not sure. I think he's a, a whole new figure, but I'm not entirely sure. If you know, let me know. I know there's been quite a few, but he looks quite different to the Luke Skywalker that I have. Um, the, the face sculpt looks very different. Um, the hair is definitely different. Um, yeah, and the outfit just looks, it looks new for the most part. So I'm really, uh, I'm really pleased with this guy. Like I said, his face, it, it doesn't show on camera very well, but it, it looks a lot better in person. So I don't know if it's the lighting that I've got going for this video, but um, yeah, he looks a lot better in person. I think he looks awesome. He does look a bit like he's crying almost. His eyes, it's his eyes, I think, that look a bit weird. But I think that's probably as close as you're maybe going to get to Mark Hamill's face. Um, some of the sculpts have been spot on. And some of them are a little bit, they're not bad necessarily. They're just maybe not quite like the character. This one is sort of, I'd say it's more towards the good than the bad. I think it's pretty decent. Uh, I like the accessories you get. They're very nice. Um, the pistol, I don't know if I want to pose him with the pistol or not. Because I kind of want him as he is in the show almost. And he doesn't have the pistol to my knowledge in the show. So... Bit of a weird one, but again, I'm not complaining about extra accessories. Uh, here he is compared to uh, a different figure I've got. Um, I don't know which figure this is. I can't remember because I think I've got two of this guy. And one of them came with the Rancor. So Jabba's Rancor and that whole scene. And this one, I believe he was just by himself with the cloak and everything. Uh, they feel very similar. I think it's the closest one I've got. Um... But yeah, those two figures, I'm pretty sure they're the same uh, figure. Uh, as you can see here, there is there are quite a few differences. Uh, I much prefer this newer version. Not that the old one was bad by any means, but this one is sort of, it shows how far we've sort of come with the detail and articulation and everything else. Uh, one negative I would say, which might not be a big deal to many, um, there's no peg holes again. Uh, much like the Cal Kestis one, they are non-existent on this figure again. There's, you know, an outline there on the foot where there should be one, but there's nothing, it's not going to sit on anything. So it's a bit of a shame. Um, I'm hoping that's not the way things, are, you know, will be going forward. Maybe these two have just been an anomaly. I mean, I know some of them, it's sort of been 50-50 the last sort of few years. They're either quite good and they sit on the stand or they don't. So yeah, that's just something I noticed and thought was maybe worth mentioning. So yeah, there's not much more to say really. I'm not going to waffle on for five minutes, but yeah, I think this guy looks awesome. I hope we see more of him in the shows. I think we probably will. And um, yeah, this figure is pretty solid. I think he's going to look awesome set up with my other figures. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content. Um, and let me know your thoughts below. I'm always happy to hear everyone's thoughts. And of course, you can follow me on other social medias as well, if that is something you're interested in. And yeah, just thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.